Welcome to the Void, my name is Liliana, also known as the Trans Fiendling, and today we're going to be um, trolling the fuck out of the Nilfgaardian Emperor. I don't know how much further we're going to get after this point, but I fully intend to do that. Can I cast my signs yet? No. Correct! I am the Witcher. I am Geralt. Oh, what's over here? Drats. Mm, no. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am quite glorious. But no. I don't I don't care for your I don't care for y'all's praise. I'm being gay. My girlfriend calls me her sunshine. And she's my moonlight. <laughs> Hello, nobles, you all the boring. Please give me an option to fuck this up. Please give me an option to fuck this up. Please, 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 please give me an option to not do it correctly. Uh, yeah. Your Imperial Majesty. Okay. Oh, he said all but the Witcher will leave. For those just listening. I do try to make these as just listenable as possible for those of you who wish to. So many months of Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. I you know haven't given a shit. Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. You don't command me, bitch. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? to discuss a rumor. I mean, yes. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. Really? That's kind of one of my, like, I defining characteristics. I haven't the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. No, I don't she actually. Trusts she trusts she me. She looks so unhappy yes. in that painting, Jesus. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. Yeah. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. <laughs> Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. Yeah, because we trained my her. Well. Spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Please tell me don't actually have to help this fucker. This audience is finished. Merarid! Merarid. Sounds like Merid. Take him to the sorceress. Am I gonna need to censor out titties? He mentioned persuading. And this is, you know, the Witcher and Geralt's known for being mostly naked. At least that's one of the things that, like, that was one of my impressions of him before the Netflix the show. Don't understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. Gentlemen, I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. There are not breaches of etiquette for one day. I mean... And it's past noon. Uh, you, what? What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? Uh, I'm Herivar uh, the second Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait. I really wish that, like, supplicant. I could have. Ugh. They're being forced to face their own place of worship. That's fucked up, even for me. Yes. Oh. 
Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna follow them. Fuck. I'm really sad I didn't get a chance to troll him more. I'm also very confused because it seems that, like, the Emperor doesn't maybe know that Ciri's a Witcher now? Question mark? Or pre mutagen Witcher? I'm, uh. A touch confused, one could say. But I also, I've never played these games before, so that would explain, you know, it would make sense if I am confused. Also, um, for anyone who's curious, I know that, like, this is the third one and I haven't played the second or first. Uh, apparently, story-wise, they're not connected, really, so I was told not to worry about it. Okay, cool. You might be wearing a little sword somewhere. I have no clue. This is pretty. Yes, then that's right. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Are oh, these all just gonna be books? Don't get me wrong, I love books, but books aren't worth the whole lot, and I don't have the time to read all of them. As we established last time, neither the time nor the uh, attention span. And knowing general, like, people, y'all probably don't have the attention span for me to just sit here and uh, read endless things in books. Though that said, people do say they greatly enjoy my voice, so who knows. <gasps> Yen, hi, you're pretty. Tunic, you look positively smashing. Uh, what about Smash? Trying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. <laughs> One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Nope. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Oh, she's trying to find Siri too. Siri. Okay. She's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look. Gosh, she's pretty. That's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Mm. <laughs> so they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. I'm also curious so how closely, like, the, um, the, the Netflix show is going to be following this. Focus on finding Siri. So I'm caught up on that. Right. I mean, right. I said the wild hunts after her. That's about all I know. to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspacy, geomancy, anything, really. Haruspacy? I That's knew a new the one wild on me. hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Mm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. It's never time to put away magic, you especially whenever I'm going to be using magic to find before the wild really comes right. So where has Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it. No I don't like working with the Emperor. Checks. Imperialism no. is bad. Inherently. Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Who is? Triss Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? Very I should sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Okay, good to know. Uh, yeah. That's that's a One good thing. I'm curious. Before we go, why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. 
Ow. Then That's fair. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Ooh. Okay, so maybe there's a little bit of context I might have gotten from playing the other games first. Ow. Yeah, no, that is a, indeed time to get going. Guess this means Open mouth? Split up Insert again. foot. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback <laughs> as soon as I can get changed. I do love fast travel. Way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think mm. so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Valatra. That's him over there. I mean, learning is always good, so Garrett, perhaps... I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. No promises. Ah, uh, cute. I should be waiting. It's really funny how cute and gay have become synonyms in my head. Because I almost went, ah, gay. Watching them kiss, and I was like, mm, I don't think that's actually the case for at least one of them. Whoa. Oh man, she's so cool. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, I love her. She's so cool. Okay. Give me just one second. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go create a save so that I can go back to get a screenshot of that later for a thumbnail, probably. Can I skip this, please? It's very agitating. Save game, manual save. Is that... Yes, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then after the cutscene... Yes, yes, I know when the bard's tale begins now. Can I please skip this? I'm also surprised I haven't had to censor anything yet. Quite pleased by this, actually. Oh, I didn't realize that checkpoint would work. I know it's fine. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I still need to do other things. Gosh, she's cool. She who knows. Oh, this is so long. Oh, this is so long. I'm sorry, that's that's just that's too long. Letter to Yennefer, this I can read. Oh boy, and stars. Okay, but I do see a name I recognize, so I'm going to read this one. Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your earlier thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via megascope. I'm trying to limit my magic communication to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I'm glad that you found a position at Gracious Emperor's Court and wish you the best of luck in search for his daughter. It is good to know that Emir's intentions for her have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Perhaps in these circumstances, an, agreed rega an agreement regarding the Lodge will prove possible after all. In response to your first question, I can say beyond all doubt that Ciri has not appeared anywhere south of Yoruga. Believe me, I can recognize her magic, her magic signature in her sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I only know that things in uh, Novigrad have taken an ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kavir, but I am afraid of the current political climate that amounts... That in the current political climate that amounts to an impossible daydream. I hope I'll soon be able to join you in Vizima. However, first, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Beauclair. With my fondest regards, the Frangilla Vigo. P.S. Thank you for the news about Geralt. He always seems to land on his feet, doesn't he? He does have cat eyes. Why not cat feet? Or other cursed characteristics. Geralt secretly has cat ears. He just hides them underneath his hair. Can I pick those up? No, they're just- they're just there to be vaguely frustrating. Okay, that's fine. Uh, more books? More books, more books, more books. I have to check, because if I don't check, I will regret it. I'll be- it'll- it will bug me if I do not check. And plus, I just got something called Lunar Shards, and that sounds helpful and rare? So, you know. Oh, hey, I got boots. New boots, new boots. 
Plus, I'm kind of really hoping that somebody will comment on the Nordling just looting the fuck out of, you know, the grand library of the sorcerer sword. Whatever. Because it sounds- it, it amuses me and I am nothing if not one who seeks out what amuses me. Here's the- hey, you're the one I need to talk to. Ambassador Var Attire. Ambassador Var Atra? No, it's Var Attire. Yennefer Didn't you see suggested it's I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will. I do not map. serve him. I'm doing this because Siri is kind of his daughter. Like, kind of Geralt's daughter. Not because he's the Emperor. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Yeah. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. Ah, uh, in fighting. That's always a good thing. attacked the Kedwini by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And okay. so by spring... Instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Ah, fine. That I'm glad to hear it. Hearing your voice. Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools. I don't know this Radovid dude, that. but I like him. To the war, if for nothing spring, else, he's fending off imperialists and in fuck imperialists. Battle. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. The Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. Yeah, that would be useful. I'm afraid useful. the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. You could just you know not be in, in you could just not invade other as people's territories. Ever. Yep, perhaps. That's worse. This <sighs> land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly <laughs> paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is cheap in really swampy hate forests that are difficult to control. Imperialists. We've had several patrols yes, never return to their camps. Thus, imperialism. We've temporarily delegated authority in this Any region to a certain Nordling. I don't care who it's doing. Former yeah. low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre. Bloody Baron. That's a cool nickname. I advise you well. Avoid him. I mean, he sounds like a good ally, honestly, if he's opposing y'all. Novograd? News from Novograd. Oh, it's just Is Red. Free okay. Still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? Not they seek well, the generally speaking. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Of course it will. It's gonna fuck them over if they the submit. 
who profits from it. Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. I mean, fair. The city's What's getting screwed scared? over, it sounds like, and being gaslit. Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. Skellig's where the one queen lady is from, right? But nothing more. Skelliger has always been a... No, that's where her husband was from, I believe. So it shall remain. I know very little about this lore. Sounds awfully well. confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet. King all Bran the clans of the old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. I really like this knife. It's very fun, very pretty. Oh, well, it's also like covered in stars, which is very void. All right, wonderful. It's time to move on. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. This sun makes her own ah! path. Hey, okay, the picture of Siri. It's not really reading so much as looking, but okay. Scars healed nicely. Hmm. Any other things? Looks like I got everything on my way in. Cool. Hey, uh, Mr. Pain in my butt. Come here so I can get my stuff back. How might I serve the gentleman? Jim, by returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Thanks, bunches. Should we the kiss on the cheek? Not for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. I'll find Siri, and then I'll ask what we Siri wants to do. But uh, that's about it as far as helping you goes. Let's see which is okay. Here are the ruined ones. Lower. There we go. That is so much better. Plus now I can sell all the fancy clothes. And make some money off of that. Because those clothes were worth quite a bit. Oh, and if I remember correctly, the coins I can now exchange here in Vizima somewhere? Because I would like to get those made into like funds I can actually use places. Because I have... A lot of them. Oh no, it's in Novigrad, not in Vizima. I, I, I remember the Vivaldi bit, and in my head that meant, um, it, in my head it conflated with the Vizima and Vivaldi. All right. Who did you fast travel? Where am I going? World map. Return to the map of the region where you are currently located, press middle mouse button, okay. To open the map, okay, cool. So left click on the map you want to go to. Oh cool, so I will in fact be able to go back to White Orchard eventually. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Caremora. Can I actually go to Caremora now? I feel like that would be an unwise idea. Can I though? I'm not seeing any sort of travel point that I can, like, access. So it looks like now I can't. Which is unfortunate, but okay. So I need to go to Velen. The Hanged Man's Tree. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. Something That's a cool looking screen. Happened in Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Okay. Yes, yes. I know sometimes I have, you know, to do a pseudo quick time event. That's fine. <gasps> Pretty. Melon in Northern Tamaria, five days later. 
I do respect his decisions, but his, um, his choosing to go about things, like to travel by force instead of teleportation, seems a bit ill-advised. It's so depressing. I didn't realize we'd be seeing the sun tree in this episode. Oh, that's really good. That was a really good shot. Parts of stone. Thank you for purchasing the expansion. You are currently tracking the quest and change the first quest of parts in stone. You only recommend starting it if your char character is at least 30. Um, no? Um, rune right while pay playing, you can encounter a rune right marked by book on your map. This new craftsman, the only one of its kind, comes from a far off land. Can you start your knowledge considering bring your equipment? Take him out to see for yourself. Okay. Blood and wine expansion. Okay. Any anything else? I've apparently gotten out of the tutorial area, so now it's kind of like. So now they're telling me like all sorts of new things. Hey there. And actually telling me about the uh, like expansions and stuff that I have. Because I got this, I, I think I got this on like a, a Steam sale, so I got like the full like Game of the Year edition or whatever for, you know, a handful of dollars. Han Fiber, not Han Solo. Alright, it's this direction, but also there's enemies? So let's go see what, what, let's go see what's up with these. Okay, just wild dogs. Change my sign. But <laughs> I do like how whenever you die, you still like move, like you still input, like you still take in commands for like half a second. I don't know how you switch targets. I've tried changing the lock thing, and it doesn't quite work. I'm throwing a bomb or shooting a bolt. You can. Cool. Oh. Interesting, I didn't realize that you could use R's to put out enemies you've set on fire. I also don't know why you would want to put out an enemy you've set on fire, because you've set it on fire for a reason, which is to hurt it. So I don't know why you would want to, you know, make things harder for yourself by undoing that progress. But, you know, to each their own. Oh dang, and I've got quite a lot of experience just from... doing the, uh... like from completing the classes and whatnot. I also don't know why you changed from Igni again, because I don't really have any reason to use any other sign in combat. I mean, I guess I could use Axie to slow people down. red dot up ahead, but I don't know if it's a dog or if it was something else. Okay, so things are do pack a little bit more of a punch, which is to be expected, because as I said, I'm out of the tutorial area, so that's no real surprise there. Oh, it was the uh, height markers. That's what was red that I saw up above. Okay, so let us go see what that quest marker is going to take us. So many hangings. And no wonder people are bitter at the Milf Guardians. What kind of a... I'm gonna check what herbs they have, just because... You know, new, new area, new herbs, possibly? Okay, so far, a lot of the same herbs. Okay, this is just a rib leaf farm. I don't know what rib leaf is. Oh. It looks like a tobacco-esque plant. Faster. But I don't know if that's actually the case or if that's just a coincidence. However, that is my impression of it so far. 
I don't think I've even used it in anything yet. I love the quiet mode of Witcher Sense. It's just, it's very calm and very nice. Not so fast, Roach. Are these just more wild dogs? Oh yeah, just more wild dogs. Did you actually notice me? Okay, looks like no. That's it, Roach. All right, so we are on the road to wherever city this happens to be. Well, come on, get off. Yeah, come on, faster. You know, I don't know if you're gonna run off or whatever, and I don't want to lose my loot. I have priorities. Me. There's an NPC. <laughs> when they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. Yeah, that would be nice. You look like the person I just. John Verdon, served in the Tenth Maribor Division. You look Long like the way from your army. Scout the armies don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Ah, deserter. Join a group of refugees, fucking bursting with patriotism they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down, tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. I mean, I can't say I quite. Well, actually, no, I can't blame them. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. I understand For their minute, then, emotional I'm response, sure but I don't condone it, nor do I think it was correct. I'd like to thank you somehow. But I'm not a chip crown to me name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Also, I forget if I shared this, but you can but it, you in fact cannot hurt NPCs and things. I have tried. My free time. You can attack guards and stuff. That you very much so can do. There's a there's an aquatic plant, and I am curious. That's just buckthorn. It's also just buckthorn. It looks like it. Or at the very least looks similar. Okay, just buckthorn. Uh, I also want to just... So, I realize I could just be going through for the quest, and I kind of am. But also, just, there are new... Hand my soft by, because I heard him shouting for help, and generally, someone shouting for help is a limited time engagement. Um, I'm... Oh man, there's a lot of drowners. Wonderful. Uh, the main reason I'm kind of going out of my way for checking things out like this is just so I can get a little bit away than what the new threats are here, so that I can, you know, prepare as much as I can. I don't know why you turned like 90 degrees before casting that, but okay. Oh. Yeah, fun part. I mean, there's water right there, why don't you jump in, huh? I will say, melee, not my, not my deal, not my shtick. But there's something very satisfying about Oh, were you like trying to find someone to give them flowers? Is that why you were here? But so obviously, well, let me check the map real quick before I go swimming. Oh, cool! I do need to cross this bit. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Um, what was my thought process? Yeah, a stranger. Saw him over there. Yep, that would be me. Can I jump this? Nope. New marker, in at the crossroads.
Be gone! This has not to do with you. Leave Can't be in two place, places sir. at once, can I? Let's stay clear of the swamps. Okay, I mean, you all seem like you're having a problem, and I apparently like to solve problems, so I I thought I would maybe offer a bit of assistance. But if you're sure, then I'll GTFO. Why not? And at the crossroads. Am I gonna get a cutscene as I walk in? No? The Nilfgaardian Connection. Poor man, poor woman. Bruno, you actually have a name, so perhaps you know. We're simple folk. We seek no quarrel. Okay. The lighting effects keep on looking like items that are have been highlighted. So I keep on thinking that I'm needing to interact with things. So far this has been a false instinct. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Him? Give me a bottle of something strong. <laughs> that is not a bottle, that is a shot. And a tiny ass shot at that. Nice you got a coat. I'll open the back way for you. Uh okay. company. The first uh, that first response was bullshit. It's a Empty. shot. Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? One's for monsters, Wonder one's if for he man. he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? <gasps> fight, 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 fight. Uh, let's go with I'm a Witcher. This I'm seems like Witcher. it'll prove a fight. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that was. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop in sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step a note. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the priest. You stink of dead men. Get out. But boring is the worst possible insult you can level with some people. Oh shit! <laughs> Well, I didn't realize that would actually work, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Well... <laughs> I really was just kind of, just for lack of better term, just shit posting like, Oh, you called me boring. Okay, Igni sign. But, uh, I'm not going to complain. Oh, who are you? Yeah, come on in, come on in, you can die too. Yeah, why don't I just set you on fire so you panic? Honestly, that archer is more the problem. What was that? I stink. Well, given human physiology, you pro probably just shot yourself before you died, or as you died, so who stinks now? Um, I'm not gonna try to harm your horses, though. I probably could, because I can hurt other livestock, but I'm not gonna try to hurt your horses. Sorry about that, darling. Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! 
He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got. Oh, oops. I'm sorry. Where's Hendrik? You <laughs> understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand. I'll deal with the Baron. Calm down. Then. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? With the bandits where the lords Man mean? lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Alright. Good to know. Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? I'm still so understanding that actually works. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye. He stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, thank you. Go out the back. Well, maybe I'll take care of the baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. That's fair. I will try not to kill anyone else. So long as they don't call me boring. Okay, cool. I'm gonna finish my drink. Like, yeah, not gonna lie, like, I am... I wasn't actually meaning to kill them over calling me boring, but that is genuinely one of the things that, like, will piss me off. Don't actually piss me off, just, like... Boring is legitimately one of my, like, phobias that I have. Like, the fear of being boring. So, like... Definitely didn't, uh, choose their words well. I just want to talk to you. Greetings. Sorry about that. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out. But the Baron's an hasty one. Attacked straight away. The okay. blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. Ah, uh, I see. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. Uh, that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Amazing. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. <laughs> Far fewer heard that. So, definitely still a brutal individual, but you know, the inciting incident Baron's isn't actually as bad here, as it right? sounds. He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folks say he deserted along with his company, showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. Okay. So they enough. took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, They'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Uh, is this just going to give me Wouldn't let me sell things? Drink. Okay, Show me what you got. Uh, anything important? Oh, Gwent card. That's actually not too bad, but also fuck Nilfgaard. Okay, so nothing I actually need. And I don't quite feel like selling it. Well, does do food and water, do these things actually weigh anything? No? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Later. Thanks. Farewell. Alright. Uh, I'll read the notice board later so that I don't have to worry about missing documents again. Aw, oh, I can't load the cart? Lame. Uh, you're not my horse. Where's Roach? Alright, oh, I didn't take Roach over here yet. Uh, also, I. I think I communicated this, but in case I did not, I'm going to be doing all the, like, looting and everything in, like, in between episodes on my own time off camera, just because there's a lot of things to loot, and I don't want to bloat these episodes any more than they're already going to be, just by their default sheer length of ground that we have to cover and just the sheer amount of content that there seems to be so far. Come here, Roach. Thank you. All right. So let's go towards this. 
Heatherton place. I don't think there's anywhere anyone named Heather there, but it's purely because of the plant. My money would be on the plant. Okay, so it's actually too deep for a roof to go across. Good to know, but that's okay, I can swim. I'm thinking I'll get to Heatherton. Well, I don't know, getting, to, getting there probably shouldn't take me 15 minutes. I'm trying to make sure I keep this, you know, somewhat of a decent time. Also, I'm admittedly on a little bit more of a schedule for once. His blood fall on me, not on the humans. What is going on Some here? Good eye. Got an ill look in your eyes. Ugh. Sorry, I really don't mean to keep sh shoulder checking everyone, but yeah, I was. Okay, you you all seem like this is going to be important at some point, just not yet. Okay, cool. Nothing trying to crawl up and scare me, which is good, or hurt me, which is worse. Please. <gasps> Hello, bees! I do apologize, but your honey is a very good healing item, so... If you wouldn't mind terribly. Then also I'm allergic to you, which is really ironic that I like, you know, honey so much, but... Here we are, since when does anything that vaguely resembles a human make any sense? Okay, you're very far away. Oh, well, of course, now that I'm already here, I'm. Oh, there, I see the building now. <laughs> Me, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Roach. Oh, wait. Ugh, bad cape. Oh, well, hello. You're gonna flare my skin off. Oh no, I'm so scared. Please, come on. Oh, kill if you love the gods. Well, that's really tricky, because I certainly care... I certainly care not for any gods. Well, other than myself. But I do enjoy killing. Well, at least... In PCs and video games, where it has no actual lasting consequence on anyone, I, like, in actual reality. Were you all planning on taking this house or something? I'm very confused, but okay. Broken rake, isn't that a creepypasta? The rake? Alright, well we got that done. Uh, oh, suddenly we have snow? Question? Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, the mist. Okay, so it's not just me that is suspicious as fuck about suddenly snow. Sorry, friend. I genuinely am sorry, little puppy. Whoever you is, get away! Uh, I just saved your ass. A little gratitude would go Calm away. down. It's over. Thank you, Gerald. Gerald? Gerald? What you knows. Anybody with a brain cell, which is not me. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. I, I think we broke him. Just oh God! Looking for a man named Hendrick, oh, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, oh, this was a wild hunt. You'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step, step by, by step. step. They took him. Took him all. 
Who took them? Also hands? Sun? The sun was waning. Sun, ah, I see. And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads. I cannot hear them. Why did I suddenly put out the fire? Oh, you're having a flashback. I got you. Very not good for anyone involved. I know not what happened there, save terror through and through. Hendrix screamed, then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Oh, void. I didn't think- you wouldn't think ice-based things would set the town on fire, but here we are. I guess they're more death-based than specifically ice-based. Probably. <laughs> yep, there we go. Here's that nice sliding into meat sound. <laughs> Phenomenal. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. I do like that he can use uh, Axie to essentially just like... <laughs> Geralt's used calm emotions. Which is, you know, admittedly, a bit not the best. Cause... Village wasn't plundered. Hut wasn't looted. These weren't raiders or thieves. Well, no, based on the description, it's very clear this was the wild hunt. There is no... Well, okay, I don't want to say there's no other possible explanation, but I certainly can't think of any other possible explanation. I am gonna go loot. Oh, I mean, I guess it's fair that I can't loot the person's house whose life I just saved. That's slightly unfortunate, but okay. I like loot, okay? I'm a loot gremlin. Let's go see if we can't check out his hut and see if there's anything important in there. Oh. Looks like folk were here moments ago. Whatever happened to the villagers happened awful quick. Can I get up there? Looks like no. Nope, that's okay. Let's go. Let's just go check. Oh, hey, wait. There's actual footprints? Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? <laughs> <clears throat> you just sound so done. Ugh, really? These bitches? Again? Really? Oh, so, you get this from the bed, but not the body. Makes sense. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Oh, okay. Guess I should do some cleaning. I'm gonna go... with hard? Hmm. That's Portugal. pleasant. Maybe they missed something. Well, I have to be a meme. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Interesting. Maybe hit something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing cold here. Cold as ice. Boots, maybe? Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. That's good to know. Gotta I'm going to say. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. I'm going to bet uh, a crown, I think they're called, that it fits this keyhole in the trapdoor. 
Hey, look at that. Oh, void, he had a nice little setup going on down here. Hmm, interesting. Blech. I'm very confused by what the candle did, but okay. That's on the other side of the wall. This is a poster of some sort. Missing. Tamara Stranger, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped. Hearty reward for whoever finds her or brings her in. Hey, more crowns. Thank you. I got the one back that I bet. Well, except I was right, so I actually won that bet. Never mind. What's this? Roger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Ah, oh, I see. So you're mm, the what's spy. This? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. But it wasn't actually functioning as a merchant. Good to know. Interesting I think. headings. Missing and wanted. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Also, like he already has hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should <laughs> I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Birch. Is that the actual bloody Baron, or is that some other one? Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Are these all gonna be quests I can do? Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Interesting. Those so all sound like quests, Andrew potentially. For Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron. I'm gonna be ambushed. Speech. Damn. Probably? That definitely, definitely looked like something was behind me and looking at me. I'm paranoid as all void. Hey, you completed the quest. I didn't level, did I? No, but I'm very close. Oh cool, I have some things to sell. Wonderful. Let's just head back up and see if maybe the person in the village has anything left to say. New quest, Bloody Baron. Are you still here in the center area? No? Where'd you go? Did you go back to your home? Probably went back to his home. Alright! Well! I am very interested to meet this Triss character. Who, it seems like, I'm gonna be... Anyway. From my understanding, it sounds like the goal here is essentially to... Or was to find the person who was dead. And then meet up with Triss and get information. And I've heard a lot about Triss in, like, other, like, games and stuff. Like, I've heard her name mentioned a lot in, like, mods for other games. Like, I remember there was a Skyrim mod that added her armor to it. But I know nothing about her. So, I'm curious to actually learn about her. So, for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. Please do not forget to be kind to yourselves and one another. And for now, it's time for some very important things. Infinite thanks to my Voidizians over on Kofi, Daris, and Sarah Senpai. If you'd like to see your name on the screen, or gain access to other wonderful boons, such as choosing what games I play, Discord access, the chance to sell me your immortal soul, and much, much more, check out my Kofi link in the description. And as always, don't forget to hydrate, masticate, and medicate.